Hey guys, I heard you. I heard you very loud and very clear. Please excuse the whiplash that many of you may have received over the past month or so. Um, I am right there with you. If you watched my last video, which is up here, uh, you will have found out that the photo lab, the film lab that I was so excited to open and start processing film and uh, uh, do as a full-time thing, um, you'll know that I closed it, that I had to close it um, due to the volume of orders I was receiving and the fact that it was just me and I didn't have the funds or the upfront capital to hire someone or expand with um, automated machines, stuff like that, that it just made sense to not try to take this on all on my own. It was just too much. It was too much work. Uh, I couldn't catch up with orders. I was worried about quality and quality slipping. And I was worried about just letting people down, not getting their film to them uh, quickly enough and not being able to spend time, you know, with those that I love and not being able to um, take my mind off of this project in this, this space, which, you know, turned me into kind of a zombie. I was very much a zombie. Uh, and that's all my fault because I tried to start a business that was very involved um, with no upfront capital, no business partner. And I thought I was just gonna white knuckle it. It turns out that that is a terrible, <laughs> terrible way to do business. And since closing in early August, I have had uh, this last month to kind of figure out what I'm gonna be doing. And I've had so many wonderful emails and DMs and, and messages from people telling me how much it meant to them that there was a film lab in Milwaukee and uh, telling me that, you know, they wish I could have stuck around. I had a lot of people tell me that they really preferred the way that I processed their film and I was their preferred film lab, um, which made me feel, you know, really good about what I was doing here, uh, but didn't change the fact that I don't have the resources to take this on on my own. That being said, I am back. The film lab is back but with a caveat at, at a very specific, there's a very specific caveat. Let me give you just a little bit of context here. When I first saw the space and decided to rent it, I was in love with how it looked, the big windows, the big open space, the brick. I mean, that's beautiful back there. And you know, it's location, downtown Milwaukee. It's just such a great location for something like this. I knew that I would be starting out as a film lab, but this space would eventually morph into something more. There would be uh, ways to utilize this space that would be really awesome and maybe lucrative. Over this last month, I've been thinking about this space and what I could possibly do with it. So I started putting a plan together to turn this into a rentable daylight photo studio where people can come and rent it, you know, photographers, creatives, brands, to do photo shoots or events even. The reality is if I were to rent this space out two times, uh, two full days in one month, that would pay for the rent and the bills for just the space. There are some things changing though. Uh, this space, I'm literally moving directly next door to the studio space directly next to it. Um, it's not gonna be as tall, but it is much longer. So this is a, it's a much longer space. The, the staircase in the middle here will be gone uh, and it'll be just a larger footprint, uh, which would better, better be used for um, a studio space, which will allow me to bring in more equipment um, some possibility for uh, breaking up the space to different uh, spaces where people can work in different ways, uh, like tabletop sets, uh, fashion sets, um, that sort of thing, which will make the space a lot more versatile. And I kind of started thinking about it and I realized, you know, I'm still gonna be processing my own film. I'm still gonna be processing film for my friends. When I'm processing film in smaller, lower batches, I can handle it. It's not that much. If I can do like, you know, a couple, like 50 rolls a week, that's pretty easy. That's not that's not hard at all. I can do that and I can scan that, no problem. Uh, when I started getting into the hundreds of rolls, that's when I started getting into um, getting into a little bit of a pickle. So I thought about it and I kind of realized, you know what, maybe I could reopen my lab services and provide them for, you know, a smaller subset of clients. Um, maybe some like diehard lab fans 
uh, or people who are local to Milwaukee. And so that's what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. I am reopening the lab services for a smaller subset of clients. Basically, I'm going to have a rotating client list, uh, kind of a first come first serve thing once the list is full. Uh, and I've had reached my quota for what I can handle for that week. I will close the client list to then put people on the front of the line for the next list. Um, and what this is going to let me do is control the amount of orders I'm getting in. Uh, it's going to be able to let me modulate how much work I can handle every week. Um, some weeks I'll take more work on if I'm slower. Other weeks I'll take less work if I'm busier. And that will just be better for my lifestyle, better for my mental health, uh, better for quality, better for speed. I'll be able to turn film around like day or two, uh, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. And just based on the feedback I've gotten from uh, the people I've told about it, I'm really excited for how that's going to look. I'm excited for the possibility of, again, being able to provide these services for people. And um, I'm excited to wrap that into turning the space into a creative studio for photographers to use, not just for lab services, but for everything else. I'm also very excited to have that extra time. I'm not going to be processing film for 16 hours a day uh, to actually do workshops, stuff that I really wanted to do in the beginning that I just did not have time to get around to, which was, you know, having workshops showing people how to process film in color at home, uh, black and white, doing four by five workshops, all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, with this new space, with all the new extra space we'll have, um, with all the extra time I'll have in my schedule, I will be able to schedule those things out, which makes me happy. That's you know something that people really like. Um, people have been asking for workshops. They've been asking for um, you know classes on how to process their own film at home. And that is something I feel passionate about and something I want to help people learn. So that's kind of it. I'm bringing the lab services back. I'm rebranding sort of a little bit. Uh, I'm going from the photo department lab to the photo department studio um, just to kind of reflect that it is going to be uh, encompassing more than just processing film. Uh, the new website, the photo department studio will be up and running within the next week as well. And I will be uh, transitioning people to that website for uh, their film orders to, you know, um, book time in the studio to um, sign up for workshops or classes or events. Uh, and that'll be where all of that stuff kind of lives. Um, and I'm really excited about that. So yeah, I, I just want to thank everybody for all the support I've gotten over this last month. It's been really difficult. Um, it's really hard to start a project that you feel passionate about and then kind of having to sort of abandon it in a way, uh, mostly for, you know, reasons that are kind of outside of your control. Hindsight being 2020, yeah, I guess I could have uh, planned a little bit better as far as like, you know, how to run this business and be able to provide services. Uh, but you know what? That is a learning experience that I have had and I am very grateful for it. And I think it's going to inform this next chapter of uh, the photo department in a big way. And that I'm really excited about. And yes, <laughs> elephant in the room, I dyed my hair. Uh, very spur of the moment. This was not a plan. My girlfriend was dyeing her hair and she had extra dye, so I dyed my hair. Our hair did not turn out the same color because my hair is much lighter. Uh, this is not a midlife crisis thing, but it totally is a midlife crisis thing, so um, feel free to make fun of me in the comments. Uh, it's totally fine. I also got a haircut. You know, it's gonna be fall. Fall's, fall's almost here, so you know, I needed to change. Uh, that means uh, yesterday, it's PSL season officially, so if you haven't gone to your local Starbucks to order a pumpkin spice latte, make sure you do so. I will put in the comments below my personal pumpkin spice latte order because I used to be a Starbucks employee, so I have a very specific way I like it uh, if you want to try that out. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Again, really thank you to everyone for the support. Thank you for everyone who have uh, submitted orders, who continue to support me through uh, this roller coaster of a year. It's been, it's been quite a year. If you wanna help support the photo department going forward, um, you can sign up for the client list on the website, support the lab by putting an order in. There's still room on the client list for this month actually, or for this week. So if you wanna use the lab services, you can go ahead and go to the website and email me. I guess that's gonna do it for today. Coming up next on the channel, I have two videos that I have coming out very, very soon. Uh, one of them is involving this 
point and shoot. And the other one is involving another point and shoot that is over there. It's point and shoot season, apparently. Um, more spooky park bench podcast episodes are coming as well. Um, also some really exciting things coming in the month of November for the spooky park bench podcast and for the photo department. So make sure you're sticking around for that. I'm really excited for that. Thank you again for being here, for watching. Um, you guys are amazing. I love you all. Goodbye.